I've been, lived in the area for over 20 years, and you just kind of see a decline in the um, area. We were seeing good people moving out of the neighborhood because they were afraid to live here. Uh, they'd see drive-by shootings going on between drug dealers and stuff, so they're like, we're getting out of this neighborhood. I don't want to give up on my neighborhood. I want to fight for this community. We went to 13 cities and seven states over the course of the of this project, you know, we just couldn't come up with a structure until we, we really started thinking about it in terms of solutions journalism and looking at what other communities were doing that was successful. Usually, I, you know, I framed it by setting up what what they did that they did so well, and then I would explain, okay, this is the problem Fayetteville faces, and I would throw a lot of stats in there. And, and a lot of research in there to, to look specifically at our community and, and what we are or are not doing. There's a great concern in our city of, of whether or not we're, we really are doing enough to, um, to reduce crime, prevent crime, and, and to make this a safe city. You have to uh, establish relationships to build trust, to work collaboratively. If you don't have trust, you're not going to work together. Uh, and so I think, I think the series did help us with that uh, because it talked about other communities that uh, had those kinds of relationships. People don't feel safe because of what we've read in the newspaper. So when we see the solution-based reporting, people begin to feel a sense of hope. I mean, they feel a sense of, wait a minute, we can do something about this. It's not, you know, we're not circling the toilet drain here. There's an opportunity to step up and, and kind of pool our resources and all get on the same page, perhaps for the first time on this issue, and do something about it. So they're a stakeholder in the community. Uh, I, think, I think they recognize that and probably have for years that they owe it to the city of Fayetteville to do whatever they can to improve the city and, and make it more viable. And I think it showed in this, um, you know, in this series. Again and again and again, I heard people say, I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you're doing with this series, that you have, you're not just slamming Fayetteville again and pointing out our problems, but you're, you're out there saying, hey, there's people doing good stuff. What we discovered as a potential solution for our community was not something that we would have imagined and not something that we would have ever gotten to if we had not come to this as a solutions journalism story. You don't find solutions if you're not looking for them. We're trying to figure out who we are in a, in a rapidly changing world. Um, and as long as I'm here, part of who we're going to be is solutions journalism.